Good option. Nice option. The top EWS riders are dangerously fast. Seriously, they're pushing themselves to the limit for that EWS title. And we can see from the highlights and on track that the top 10 in the world seem to be from another planet. Whether it's their line choice, their mental state, or their body positioning, there's something they're doing differently. And that's why we're here in Squamish today, to find out and just see how ludicrously fast they really are. To do this, we're about to meet Jesse Malamed. Now, Jesse doesn't need an introduction, but I'm gonna give him one anyway. He's the unofficial 2020 EWS champion, born and bred here in BC, and won his first ever EWS in Whistler in 2017. The last time Jesse and I raced together was in 2018 at the EWS final in Finale Liguri, where Jesse put me to the sword by nearly three minutes. So I'm looking forward today to picking his brain on what he's doing down the trail that makes him the best in the world and seeing what you and I can learn from him. Let's go find him. Jesse, welcome mate. Thank you. Thanks for taking the time in the middle of the EWS season. No worries. How you doing? Good. Yeah, can't complain. It's a beautiful day. I'm getting a little bit of rain now, which is nice, and the uh, shells should be perfect. I think so too. What do you know about this trail? Ditch Pig. Uh, I definitely ride it a fair amount because I love the top section, but I've never actually stopped and looked at it just because I've just one of my like go-to like fun ride trails. Perfect. Fun ride. I like the sound of that. Yeah. <laughs> so I thought today we'll go up. First lap we'll stop a couple of times. Yeah. I want to pick your brain. Okay. And then that last lap we'll go down, go full top to bottom. Alright, sounds good to me. Sounds good? Yeah, All riding right. bikes. Let's go up the hill. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Alright Jesse, yeah, let's just be sensible and we'll have a we'll have a little smoke out a third of the way down. I'll show you my cool line at the top. <laughs> oh, that was a beauty. So Jess has just towed us through the, what we call it, the new line? Yeah, the, the fast fun line. And I can't believe where you actually chose to corner. Mm -hmm. So talk us through uh, what we just did. Yeah, so I kind of knew this wide line's been like feeling almost too wide. It's fun, but it's a lot of turning and essing. And then I thought if we went the tightest line, it's obviously quicker. So here it's like, we got like a wall ride of beautiful dirt to like bank off of. I felt like we had sick traction, mm. could get over to the straight line pretty well. And then, yeah, it's just like setting up here to straighten out the whole thing so you carry all the speed from right from the beginning rather than choking up in the middle and losing some speed. So uh, that worked beautifully. Yeah, I think what I learned the most is just like looking for where you can yeah. get grip yeah. and then where you're like gonna push into it. Cause mm -hmm. I noticed you pushed really hard into here, yeah. hence the destroyed uh, <laughs> loam and berm there. Yeah. <laughs> we couldn't stop for oh, like a few corners like we had down. more speed on this <laughs> line than the, the wider wider setup line. Yeah. And like, like we were saying is like, you probably would have seen in the video, like this was fighting to stay on this line. That's what I'm talking about. Like, but that's what racing is so sick is like, okay, you got this line. You have to fight to make it happen. Get this, get to the right, and then just straighten out and just carry the speed the whole way. And, oh, love yeah, it, man. That was sick. Yeah, so fun can be fast. Fun can be fast, yeah. yeah how or, good. I guess fast is fun. Fast is fun. Yeah, fun oh, is fast. Look, all of us is fun. <laughs> yeah, is. Let's go hit this one more time and keep on moving. Sick, let's do Dirty. it. <laughs> Just nice and smooth. The bus is just picking. How did he get that? He's just picking the downsides. Way too easy. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> Traction less in there. Oh, that was a that was a nice watch. So we've just done our second section, and what I noticed following you is that you were just picking and perfectly landing on these downsides which were one dangerously far away <laughs> but i also think what you were doing was looking a lot further ahead than i was mm -hmm. and this is a pretty good example to show that what we've got right behind us yeah so talk us through 
what you did about it. Yeah, so as soon as I come out of the corner, I'm looking ahead on the trail, and then pretty quickly out of that, I could see what looked to be like a jump, and I was like, okay, that must be it. And then as I got closer to here, you can line up and you can see the transition, and I was like, okay, sweet. It's not that big, like, I got the speed for it, I just have to pull, and it kind of lines up pretty well. And then as soon as I'm in the air, I'm pretty much, I've seen my landing already, and I'm looking ahead to the next corner, or whatever is coming up ahead. Perfect. And then you land, and then you can like control yourself, hit the next section, and then repeats and so forth. So Beauty. Yeah. Well, I think that's a valuable lesson to learn. It's like, I think for maybe it's just being aware of where you're looking. Yeah. Like there's this trade-off of feel comfortable yeah. looking ahead. So it, might, it yeah. might be giving yourself opportunities to like slow up a bit to scan and then drop into a section so that you can kind of almost plan ahead for the riding. You're not just getting stuck in what you're doing and never able to like see what's coming up. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. No, I, think that's, I think that's a super valuable lesson. So let's go try and uh, apply it as best we can. <laughs> so we Oh yeah. No. Oh, just so dangerously light on the bike. Oh, I've already gone. Yeah boy. And he's kindly just chilling for me. Thanks, mate. Oh yeah boy. Ah! Jesse, talk us through pacing. Pacing, yeah. I feel like I've, I've learned definitely to be on it and off it for, for certain sections, like whatever suits your riding style. So there's lots of times where I'll attack something and be fully focused. And then there's times where I know that I can kind of relax and not have to think too much about it. So that corner that you blew, I was quite focused on that because I don't consider myself the best corner, but I can hit like the steep gnarly stuff fast. So I was like, okay, I can do this as fast as I want, but I have to be good for that corner. So you may be checking up a little bit to make sure you hit that corner and carry your speed out. So say we're going down the EWS stage, you've got key sections that down the trail that you're going to focus on, yeah. push on, and then the others are just definitely 80%, 90%. Yeah. I would say it's more like there's key sections that focusing on not making a mistake. It's mm -hmm. like those you can't mess up. Everywhere else, you kind of just have fun and ride your bike. <laughs> and then that's generally fast. <laughs> that's so good to hear. Yeah. Have fun, ride your bike, go fast. For sure. Well, mate, I think we've learned a ton just off one lap. Sweet. I think it's about time we do a top the bottom of this thing. I'd say so. Yeah. That's perfect, let's get it. That's perfect, let's get it. <laughs> Thanks, mate. <laughs>
<laughs> Checking that break so I can attack the finish with all I got. Some excellent pacing from Jesse there. Uh, just, you know, give yourself a good 20 to 30 second breather uh, last bit. But mate, thanks so much. Yeah, that was wicked fun. Man, that was so I fun. I just hear you through the bushes. <laughs> and it was good because it's egging me out. I was like, yeah, I gotta show, gotta show what I got. <laughs> <laughs> mate, you did more than that. You taught us something. I think yeah. everyone watching will take something home from that. So exactly. thanks so much. All the best when you go back to Euro, mate. Appreciate it. Is there anything you'd like to say to the people out there? I'll just keep uh, enjoying the content. These guys are hard at it producing it. I got my own channel on the MGM channel. And we hope you guys like it because, uh, well, I mean, we have a great time doing it. So just mate. keep out, uh, keep watching it, but make sure you keep riding. Get out there. Thanks for watching. Oh, I'll see you next time. Thanks, mate. <laughs>